Hey, I'm Norris and welcome back to another Sew Along. Today we'll be working on my latest pattern design for Simplicity, which is 9758. And today we'll be working on view D, which is the shorter version of the two pair of shorts. Now, if you wanna do view C, because it has a patch pocket on the front, I will be doing an order of construction just to show you how to do that. And everything else after that will be the same. Now, if you're new to sewing or it's just been a while, you can go to our online sewing design school, which is sewedacademy.com, get a refresh, come back and sew along with me. Now, your fabric suggestions for this project will be a lightweight woven, pretty much anything without a stretch and not too heavy. All other fabric suggestions and notions will be on the back of the envelope. All right, grab your fabric and all your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with our back pattern piece, which is pattern piece number 14, and our back pocket piece, which is pattern piece number 15. Now you should have two dots indicating on your right back where you put your back pocket, okay? So we're gonna focus on the back pocket first. Now, you have a couple of options. With the right side facing up, you can turn under a quarter inch and press, and then at your fold line, you can fold that back, just like this, okay? Or you can just surge the top and fold back the entire top where the fold line is. So go ahead and make up your mind whether you want to surge the top or fold under. I'm gonna turn under a quarter inch on mine and then just turn down where that fold line is. So now we're gonna to head to the machine. We're gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch starting at the top, going all the way down to the bottom, pivoting, and then up the other side where this, this side should be the same as the other side. Okay, so we're back from the machine, as you can see right here. And we're just going to just trim these corners just a bit. And then right here, I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn this right side out, point out my corners. Okay, so now we're just going to press along the side turn under and we'll be stitched at the bottom, just like this, and then also the remaining side over here, okay? So do all your press and come back and we'll continue. Okay, now I'm back from the pressing table. I was able to press all the way around, and then now with the right side facing up, I'm going to top stitch across the top, making sure that I catch that fold underneath right here. Okay, now that I'm back from the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and place this where my markings are, just like that. And then now I'm going to pin this all the way around. Okay, so now I'm gonna to head to the machine. I'm going to start on one side, and I'm just going to edge stitch all the way down, pivot at the corner, across the bottom, and then up the other side, okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so as you can see, we have our patch pocket um, stitched onto our right back piece. And then now we're just gonna grab pattern piece number 12, which is our front. And with right sides facing, we're going to connect them at the inseam. And then we got a pin. Okay, now we're gonna stitch all the way down using five eighths of an inseam allowance. Do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting at the hem, so I'm going ahead and backstitch at the beginning. Okay, so I'm back from the machine, and you're going to do your other um, back and front the same exact way. And then you're gonna place them right sides facing just like this, okay? So I'm gonna take a pin, and I'm gonna pin right here at the center crotch first making sure that cross line up. Okay, and then now I'm going to continue to pin 
across the back, and then up the front. Okay, once you pin it, you wanna go ahead and head to the machine, and we're gonna stitch from one end all the way through the crotch and then up through the back. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. I finished off my seam here with five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then I also, I finished off that seam with a serge. Um, you could do a zigzag stitch to finish your seam if you want to. Um, and then also you just want to press that to one side, turn them so you can see the shorts. Now let's go ahead and attach the pockets. So I'm just going to start with the front first. So I'm gonna put the back down and I'm just going to line up my notch and pin. So now I'm just going to turn this around and I'm going to pin the pieces to my back. Okay. So now let's just head to the machine and we're going to stitch using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance from the top down to the bottom of your pocket. And we're gonna do that for all four pockets. Once again, we're using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so now you wanna do your three remaining pockets the same exact way. Okay, so before we continue, if you're doing view C, which is the longer um, shorts with the patch pocket in the front, um, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna take pattern piece number 13, and we're going to turn under the seam allowance, which is five eighths of an inch, okay? And then once you do that, we're gonna take the raw edge, and we're going to fold it into that seam allowance, which is five eighths of an inch. Basically a double, a double fold, okay? So doing a double fold and then you on the right side, we're just going to top stitch. And that'll finish off the entrance of the pocket. And then along the long side and then the bottom, we're just gonna turn in the seam allowance, which is five eighths of an inch. And then we're gonna give that a good press, all right, just like this. And then once you do that, we're just going to basically place it where your markings is, and we're going to add stitch along the side and across the bottom, and we're gonna base this side and base that side. Okay, so once you have your patch pocket stitched onto your front piece, the order of construction from here on out is gonna be the same. Okay, so moving right along, we're back from the machine, and we attached our pockets, and I went ahead and just pressed your seam allowance towards the pocket. And then now we're going to make sure that our pocket seams line up and then there should be markings. Now I'm going to pin at both of my dots. I have a dot here and then I'm gonna move down here, making sure my pockets line up. There's a dot down here too, okay? Now this is gonna be the entrance of our pocket. So we're going to stitch using five eighths of an inch seam allowance, starting at the top and stitching down, back stitching, breaking your thread. And then we're gonna take our needle out and we're going to place our needle on this dot, back stitch at the beginning, and then we're gonna stitch all the way down to the hem. Then after we do that, we're going to come to our pocket bag and we're gonna start at the top using five eighths of an inch seam allowance and we're gonna stitch all the way down until we get here. Okay, so let's head to the machine and stitch this. Okay, so now we're going to move down to our second dot. Back to the beginning, also at the end. Okay, so while we're here, we're going to do our pocket bag. If you need to pin, you can pin. and we're using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, 
Okay, so you're gonna finish your other side the same exact way. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and did my stitching. So now I'm going to turn this to the back and I'm just going to clip into my back seam. So we're not doing the front, just the back. And we're just going to just do a little slit to my stitching, to my seam, but not through it, just to open that up because we're gonna be rolling the pocket back to the front, okay? And then the same thing on this side. Okay, we're just gonna press that open. And then now what I'm going to do is we're gonna fold that pocket bag to the front. So your front, so I know my back is here because the pocket is there. I'm going to pin first. Okay. So now just head to your, to your machine and we're just gonna base across the top. All right, just to keep this pocket bag towards the front. Okay, so we're back from the machine and now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my shorts right side out. Okay, and I'm gonna put this to the side for just a moment and we're gonna work on our waistbands. Now this is pattern piece number 16. Um, you're supposed to cut two of these out of your fabric and one we have um, buttonholes, okay? So on the back, you wanna make sure you stabilize your fabric with interfacing for the buttonholes, okay? So let's go ahead and do our buttonholes. Okay, you wanna make sure you switch out your presser foot for your buttonhole um, foot and follow your machine manual on how to make your buttonholes. You wanna do your other buttonhole the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. I did my buttonholes. Now, this right here is fray check. You can find it in any um, Joann's or online. Um, now, this right here secures um, the buttonhole after you cut it. Now, you just wanna apply a little bit right in the middle. And then also put a little bit on the back too. Now, after you cut into your buttonhole, it keeps your fabric from fraying on the inside, okay? So we're just gonna let that dry, then we're gonna cut it to it a little bit later. Okay, so moving along, we're right sides facing. I'm gonna go ahead and place my bands, my waistbands on top of each other. And we're going to pin at the sides, okay? So on one end, we're gonna stitch all the way down using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so on this side, we're going to stitch at the top and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna get to that dot. We're gonna back stitch and break our threads and then we're gonna skip over to our second dot and we're gonna stitch here going all the way down, all right? So we're not, so we're gonna leave an opening here to insert our elastic. So let's head over to the machine and stitch down our sides. Okay, on this first one, we're going to stop at our dots, backstitch, and cut our threads. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over to the second dot. And then on the other side, we're just gonna stitch all the way down. Okay, so we back from the machine. I went ahead and pressed my side seams open, even the one with the opening, opening side, I think is over here. There we go, see that's the opening. And then now you want to turn it, wrong sides touching. And then you wanna give that a good press, okay? So I'm looking at my buttonholes, and then before we continue, I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. They should be dry by now. There we go, so they don't fray as much. And now I'm gonna grab my shorts. I'm just working at the top. The, the front side is facing up and the back side is on the bottom. And this is how it should look, everything facing up. And then I'm just gonna turn this upside down like this. And I'm gonna slide my shorts in between. Okay, so that means my buttonholes, which is the right side of my band, is facing the right side of my shorts. And then now we're just going to pin first at our side seams. 
We have notches in the front where you can pin that too and also in the back. So now let's head to the machine and we're going to stitch all the way around using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and push my seam allowance facing down so I won't stitch it. And I'm going to stitch a quarter inch away from the seam. Okay, so now we're going to do the very same thing on this side. We're going to stitch a quarter inch away from the folded edge. So do that and we'll continue. Okay, so after you do your two top stitching on your band, on your waistband, you want to press your seam allowance down and I went ahead and finished off with a serge right here on my seams. Um, if you don't have a serger, you can do a zigzag stitch to secure your ends. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and insert our elastic. Now you just want to get one inch elastic, take it around your waist, and once you have it comfortable or you're around your waist, not too tight, but not too loose, you wanna cut there. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a safety pin and we're gonna insert it through that opening that we have right here. So once you have your other end getting close, you don't wanna get it caught into the waistband. So you wanna go ahead and pin that in place so it won't go inside your band. Make sure that it's not twisted. Okay, so we're just gonna pull it out just a little bit. So now we're just gonna overlap it like this. I'm gonna head to the machine. We're just gonna do a couple zigzag stitch just to secure it. Okay, so you just want to overlap your one inch elastic like this. And then we're just gonna go back and forth with some zigzag stitches. All right, so if this is not tight enough, um, once you try this on, you can cut this off and overlap it a little bit more and you'll get the fit that you want. Okay, so I'm back from the machine and we're just going to hand stitch this open and close once you get the fit that you want. Okay, now that we have that secured, we're gonna go ahead Okay, now you wanna grab your drawstring or twill tape and through the button holes, I'm just gonna insert it. Mine has this little metal tip so it allows me to just push this through. If not, you can use a safety pin for yours. Okay, once you bring it out the other end, Okay, so once we have our jawstring all the way in, only thing left to do is our hem. And you have one or two ways that you can do it. Um, you can go ahead and serge all the way around and then just turn up the hem allowance, which is one and a quarter inches, and then stitch all the way around. Or you can fold under a quarter inch and then fold a full inch and then stitch all the way around, okay? So you have two options for your hem. So once you do that, you're all done. It's your first simplicity pattern under Norse Dent to Ford. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.